So, all right. Speaking of love, right? Mm -hmm. What does true love look like? Coming from mm -hmm. where we began, we've had mm -hmm. the privilege to experience what each one looks like, right? So, what does true love look like? What What was it like when you said you loved me? Pre, you knowing what true love is, mm -hmm. and then what does it mean? You loving me now. Wow. So, what does true love look like? Um, it looks just. Uh, <clears throat> it looks just. It looks like you. It looks like. Um, all right. So, firstly, true love looks like the handiwork of God because God's name is love. So that's where I'm going to start. With. You know, you see, if you remember our relationship when we met in the, in the past, everything I was looking for in a woman is what I could attain from the woman, like what I can extrapolate from the woman. How I made you feel. Exactly. It was all based on how I felt for something. Mm -hmm. So, um, really, it's, it's very derogatory because I'm looking at beautiful, I see a beautiful woman, I see you, and when I say I love you, all I'm trying to say is there is a lust inside of me. There is a burning you sensation that you can quench. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't mean quench it, but mm -hmm. It's like a rat. It's like I. It's that's what people call crush. You know what I mean? Like, man, if only I can get this girl into my bed. So when I tell you I love you, it's more about me looking to take away from you. When you look at how the you know the world has really made love, you know, scene and how the dating scene is all about. Love is just something people look at and think that it's about how you feel about something, not knowing that you're actually judging it. Mm -hmm. Because when you feel about something, you feel it for yourself and for what, yourself. You, you see what I'm saying? Because at that point, I'm feeling for myself. I'm not, I'm not feeling for you. Let's say, because when I met you, you're a virgin, mm -hmm. right? Let's say I'm not, I'm not, see, I'm not looking at the aftermath to what I'm going to do, how it's going to affect you, if I should break you, you know, how that's going to affect your understanding, how that's going to affect your future, if, if, if I lie to you and get what I want. You see, see, that love, which is also in itself a wisdom of just feelings, has no regard for the other fellow. It has every regard for just me, which makes it contained in selfishness. That's why it's called lust, because after the lust, you're going to find emptiness. Mm -hmm. That's why most relationships, they come in, the guy will pursue them, I'll pursue you, I will tell you I can't sleep at night, I need you to sleep and blah, blah, blah. All I'm demonstrating is just how my lust has overtaken my abilities, just, you know, take my dominion. And in the end, you give yourself to such a guy, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, they don't call you, they don't text you. Why? Because you have quenched that fire, and that fire was based out of selfishness. Right. So, like, and don't forget, in, in the olden days, my epitome of love was to give me a body. Mm -hmm. But that's not love at all. Yeah. Today, <laughs> love yeah, is... It looks like... <laughs> looks like this. Elaine like cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. No, not, well, not Elaine cut me some... Like, we cut each other slack. But, you know, you, why? Because... Now we stand on a foundation. On that foundation we stand, which is the word of God, which is what agape is. On that foundation, you're not Elen, um, another person. You were another person. I was another person. But now we are two individuals that have become one. So you are me. Mm -hmm. And I am you. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's, what am I going to do for myself? Right. Right. Patient with myself patient with myself what am i going to do for myself and in that you know we've been through a lot of scenarios mm -hmm. where you, you you know you it's hard yeah in the flesh it is because, it, yes <laughs> yeah love is highly spiritual because love is god himself is god himself his name right. is love mm -hmm. that means that when it comes to anything about love if i say i love you i'm saying i got you I got you. Mm -hmm. It means I'm looking at the essence of God's existence and I'm looking to portray God to you. That, what, that's what love begins. So the question is, the sign of God and the virtue of God is forgiveness. How much am I? If, if you look at the world right now, even as to what they understand, when you love a country, you, you give your life for the country. You know what I'm saying? You, you fight for the country. You protect the integrity of the country. If you say you love something, that which you love, you 
put your investment into it. You protect it. You you stand behind it. You stand in front of it. So that means when I say I'm loving you, I'm li I'm literally saying that I have understood how God created us, and I've understood His essence. And in me understanding His essence, I'm allowing Him to pass through me to you. So it's not what you really are doing. It's my understanding of the covenant I have with you, which is initially to forgive. Right. And it's not easy. Right. Now, question goes you to you. You definitely need the help of the Holy Spirit. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, you definitely. I remember. Yes, sir. Um, right. There was something. I think it was during one of our arguments. Mm. And that day. Oh, yeah. Was, we have a matter of arguments. We, we, we win. Yeah. We, so <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yeah. That, that day we had it. Everything was forgiven. Everything was cool. But. The next morning I woke up with a heaviness. It was mm -hmm. like the words that were spoken were trying to come back and it's, pierce me, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And so I was in a, a funk. Yep. And I think you realized that. I right? did. So I was like, I, I just silently prayed to the Holy Spirit. I was speaking to the Holy Spirit, like, help me overcome this. And in that moment, I looked up, like literally in that moment, mm -hmm. I looked up and you had a put funny on my thing. shower cap yep. and I burst out laughing. Guess who told me to put that shower cap on? Exactly. See, See <laughs> yeah. Please, you please, definitely please need the help of the Holy Spirit because he's the one that's going to soften your heart. Like to, 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 to be compassionate to your partner, to be kind. You know, he's the, because with unforgiveness and bitterness in your heart, you won't be able to freely love. You can progress. That's a beautiful thing you said. Now, on that very topic, right, mm -hmm. are you discussing, I remember I was up there trying to clean up or something and I was yeah. cleaning mm -hmm. bathrooms or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And out of nowhere, I, I, cause I knew we had recovered throughout the night, but the morning spoke a different tune i saw your face and usually you know how we have a very cordial morning you know conversation like hi baby like and when i saw your face you know very i just know how to go to something but and up there i also pray father the devil is not taking an inch from today he's not taking a minute from today i'm not giving him any room Thank you for fortifying our love, like, you know, those kind of things. And this, let me just ignite it, put on a shower cap. I'm like, so I was coming down to be a comedian to you. I was just coming down to make you laugh. And then when you saw the glimpse of whatever I was doing and you, you burst into laughter, I'm like, thank you, Holy Spirit. Like, right. Thank you. It makes me understand that how love works is allowing forgiveness to have its completeness in, first of all, of in your heart. In your heart. You yeah. forgive them forever because the first sign of God is forgiveness. And of course, like the mercy seat is what drips the blood on us just so we can even enter the presence. That's even the old covenant. That means you are merciful to your partner. And it's not about how you felt. Mm -hmm. It is what you get to know because yeah. even mm -hmm. in what a... What you've experienced person, with mm -hmm. God because yeah. he has forgiven you. He has been merciful to yes. you. And so out of that... You, you you can't run away from it. It will mm -hmm. overflow in you and you will have to do the same to, to your partner, yes. to your kids, to whoever. To the people you yeah. meet outside, to the guys yeah. you're speaking to. Yeah. What I've realized is um, a, a, you know, let's, let's, let's call it um, a, um, a, what stagnates the flow of love is a bitter heart, but it comes from you still holding on to your perception. You see, you're still you and I'm still me, according to humanism. Nice. Mm -hmm. But we have become we in the eyes of God. You know, what God has put together, let no one put us on it. You need to now allow your heart to make decisions more than your mind. Because, you know, in your mind, I can find your words abrasive. I can find my perception can find wrong with you. My, my human perception can find, you know, you know, disdain with what you're saying. And... When we enter a place of argument, then of course your you know m you know mannerism, my mannerism will change because now I'm not a husband. I'm not together with you. Now I am more of a um, like that we're in a, a judicial setting. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we are the court, court and, and and we're just trying to you know you know accuse Everybody's each other. Trying to be right. Yeah. I'm trying to be right. You're trying to be right, and it hurts because sometimes that's not what I meant. 
But what I said is not what you got. What you said is not what I'm interpreting. Oh. And it just goes deeper and deeper. And the idea there is you are sustained in your perception, which is the flesh. And when you sustain the perception, you've already divided yourself from what makes you want. Because it's not that I need to fight yeah, you to prove the point. Me. Yeah. It is that how and what do I need to do to come close? That's love. Will, love is a place of protection. It, it's, it's a place of forgiveness. So the idea is whatever happens, what is our meeting point of unity, Holy Spirit? Like yeah. you prayed. He's a true bond he's of unity. True bond of he's unity. the glue that keeps us together because he is the spirit of love. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the glue that keeps you two together. That's it. Mm -hmm. Those of you that are out there, I love the boy, I love the girl. See? That's why when, when you allow him in your marriage, it's like the things that will break a couple that do, that, that do not know the true love of God, you will easily go over and eventually you find yourselves um, not even doing those things. So, no you're sour, you you're, you're, you're sour about yeah. it. Yes, baby. Yeah. Yes, sweetheart. You're because, right. Yeah. He is right. growing you to, allowing you to, to look past those things because in the in the in, in human love right mm -hmm. when somebody keeps hurting you it's like a tally you keep tallying you keep a and eventually it. it will whatever love you thought you had for the person it will dwindle it yeah that's how people would be like oh yeah i used to be we used to be happy now he doesn't make me happy anymore mm -hmm. whatever emotions are unstable 100 stable so if that's what your love is just defined by it will yeah In it trouble. will crash it will mm -hmm. What you said there, which is very captivating, my sweetness, is um, you said um, people keep a tally because you know how he said love holds no wrong. Oh yeah. The tally exactly. system. The tally love, system. Called, so that thing is so hard to like. Please break it down. What do you mean? Love keeps no record of wrongs. Yes. Break it down. Okay. Because so it's so hard. It's so hard. Flesh to understand. Like mm -hmm. how can I not keep it? Like right now, there are some things that I remember, mm -hmm. which is are not supposed to be there with the whole. With the help of the Holy Spirit, they're all being done with. Mm -hmm. I'm not supposed to hold no record of wrongs. I don't have any record of wrongs. No, me. no human being can do that. Firstly, as humans, we are not created to contain burdens. Oh, we're not created to. That's why even your own secret cannot be held by you. Mm. That's why people need people like a confidant. Let me tell you my secrets. Why? Right. Because you're not made to contain burdens. Do you see? Mm -hmm. we're, we're supposed to always let go what is, you know, vented out, like mm -hmm. put it out. That's why God tells you to, you know, cast it to Him. Because mm -hmm. you're not mm -hmm. made for that. Because, you know, you are an instrument of praise. Like, you know, if, you know how when we are love, hey, baby, hey, ZT, we are an instrument of praise and worship. And if there's a rich one around you, you begin to worship Him. If there's a nice girl, you begin to worship her. Like, hey, you're so beautiful. It's just who we are. Burden is not part of who we mm -hmm. are. So wherever there's a, a tally system, you it, it entered when the, the fallen fallen the man, fallen nature yeah, of the man. fallen nature has it, mm -hmm. yeah. So so as you renew your mind, you that's it. That. That's it. Now bringing it to the the topic of um um why people actually do that. If if I love you out of how I feel about you, then my love can be placed in a percent, you know, like a percentile, like in a percentage. <laughs> Because if I love you about how you feel, then, okay, right now, I, 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 I like how you feel. So, I love you. Well, because I would like to have sex looking People at you. People say, I love you, but I don't like you. Uh -huh, that nonsense. <laughs> I love you, but I don't like you is not true. Mm -hmm. Now, when I look at you, I like you. But then when you begin to hurt me, now I'm asking myself the question, are you matching up? Because right now, I like how you look. I love how you look to me when we're naked. I, I love seeing you. But you're beginning to break certain things in me I don't like. So because I don't like that, my like for your look, which is what I think is love, starts to depreciate. It's being affected. It starts to depreciate, just like, a, like you bought a brand new car and it dings. Mm. It's not brand new anymore. It exactly. So now you're beginning to ding in my mind. God is saying love holds no wrong. Because actually, if you think deep into dear jesus oh we need you dear jesus Plenty. every second seriously. Now, <laughs> if you begin to actually think into what love does which is we'll have a day to speak about page and that today which is like i think we have to speak about every varied expression every of love. Var i think we should do that yeah. first of all when you hurt me love works with forgiveness you you see the forgiveness is, is like People will say daily. For me, I say you throw it to the end of time. 
It's something you have to understand. Like the forgiveness of God to, towards you and he who forgives much, loves much. That means my forgiving you already has a fruit which is going to cause you to re reciprocate love. Mm. So if you, let's say, if you are doing, you know, somebody, you are doing something that, you know, hurt me. And if I am in an old system of love, which is feelings, it, it can depreciate, I can tell you it, mm -hmm. until I think enough is enough. Yeah, I, I need somebody enough. else. I'm tired. I will find myself in another another relationship which I might also have problems with because the same tally system is what I have mm -hmm. is based on how you make me feel. However, when you look into the depth of what true love is, actually, mistakes and faults, God uses to mature you. Mm. Of your partner. Of your partner. Because you see, love, God himself, love, looked at your mistake and loved you anyway. And that's what caused you to reciprocate that love. He says, the goodness of God is what leads men to repent. It's the, the loving kindness of God. That's what will lead you to repentance. Meaning, if you do certain things to, to go against me in the beginning, it's not about fighting. That's why I always say that fighting also has a wisdom in it. It's a litmus, a litmus test to see your maturity. Let's say we argue out on food every day. See, the argument is not what we should pay true attention to. It's not you I should pay. Why do you argue me about food? It's more about God trying to teach me how to mature and become impervious to that very kind of argument. Because he's only maturing me for something better. Because you know you're going to have kids. You're going to go out and meet people in the world. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Manny, why are you doing that? It's not easy. That's what, that's what, we, that's what we need to do. It's the holy spirit that because you need a it, counselor he actually makes it beautiful yes because he and you is the love of god shed abroad in your heart Thank right you. and you bear those fruits of patience and all mm -hmm. those things so it is in you but you see before you a problem that you have an answer to mm -hmm. so he's saying allow me to work that out so you Thank can you. use that to um to, to overcome that problem but not just think, for you but because, for you and your generation yes, please continue but because we think no love is supposed to make me feelings. feel at that point it's supposed to make me happy it's like no why <laughs> that, that's not fair but your love the love that you have is power to overcome power to change but we get it twisted. we get it twisted that's why most people break up but honestly <laughs> honestly right when uh -huh. they said they loved each other the first kind of misunderstanding is supposed to be the examination of what they thought by what love is. It's supposed to be the first examination. So you're saying right now. Yes, sweetheart. By the power of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. in me, I have everything yes. to change in you whatever is not right. Let me, let right? me, let me explain okay. this way. Yeah, explain it. I have muscles in, in me. Mm -hmm. It's inside. Mm -hmm. Is it there? Yeah. It's there. Mm -hmm. To work it out mm. is going to cost me a lot of pain. There's going to be muscle tear. But it's there. The husband is the one that loves the woman. Exactly. So me, I'm not supposed to. No, sweetheart. <laughs> I am begging you. You are supposed to do that. Put yourself <laughs> back in the pit. Because there's that, there's that, there's that break for women. Like No, we, there's a break. We and have been caught. <laughs> <laughs> sweetheart, sweetheart, because sweetheart. You're the one that's been. No but problem. I know. But I know Timothy talks about, Paul talk, tells Timothy mm -hmm. to, to the older women teach the younger women how to love their husband. He, he so of far course, from that. the wife is also called to, because no, you but, have but love. No, but far from that. Uh -huh, far ahead. from that. Because we're going to be going into submission and stuff like that. There's a reason why God will ask a man to take the lead. Like, you know how sometimes irrespective. Yeah, so you are doing 10, I'm doing one. And that's okay. Actually, I'm doing 10, you're doing zero. <laughs> <laughs> because no you're gonna do something where you do 10 and i'll do zero okay do you see what i'm saying you see the father intentionally wants the man the head to take care of certain places because he will tell the man to love the woman and tell the woman to submit i'm not going to go deep into that but the idea that god wants to create for the treasure to understand is where there is that that uh, um overflow of love of course submission is inevitable mm -hmm. wherever a, a man loves a woman she just submits it's just what it is but you know, you're going to submit to something higher, a higher call when you have received. Because right now that you've you received the Father, the Son, you've received His love. You know, you also receive a higher call. What you do is you begin to speak love to others. Now that call, it's also going to have a lot of persecution with it. That means that I am loving you 
opening sessions inside of you which is going to submit to me as a person and when it submits to the qualities of my seed you are going to enlarge it yeah, and need patience you're going to need that's why a pregnancy i'm yeah. going to advise somebody pregnancy is not a joke and men we got to really take it seriously when a woman gets pregnant for you because she's literally taking what you have uh you know the apex of you which is your seed and enlarging it where she will sacrifice her, her body through and through for zion to be produced fruits to be produced for my legacy our legacy the likeness of me comes out to the woman these are things we're not ready to talk about so you see love matures you so whenever you give me a headache about something god is only using is a snare yes but god is using that snare to teach me how to master so that the, the strength is in me the holy spirit is in there he wants to show you how you, you can master the uh, you know the strength to uh, you know to to have peace to have peace that surpasses understanding so let me ask you a question sweetheart mm -hmm. how do you demonstrate peace that has a uh, uh, peace that surpasses understanding Absolutely. you're gonna have to go through chaos to see yourself walk through that chaos peaceful the challenge the, <laughs> one of the challenges though especially in marriage because you you live with a person you see his day-to-day -day flaws yep. right you see his day-to-day -day inabilities mm -hmm. let's say he 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 is trying to say something to you and you're supposed to be patient but then you also know something against him that yep. you can use to quiet whatever he's trying to say yep. you do and that's 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 the place where it will need serious yielding mm -hmm. and submission to the holy spirit to employ that patience yeah we will speak because... on patience as a subject <laughs> it's not easy so how are you gonna say this when you do this but watch let me ask you a question uh -huh. on that note mm -hmm. you gotta think about it this way if you know with the person with the holy spirit mm -hmm. it's the same way god knows your day-to-day -day activity knows the way you move knows how hypocritical you can be and still has time to give you re revelation mm -hmm. still has time to give you discernment and speak to you and the idea there is he's not doing it because he thinks that yeah 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 you suck no he's doing it with the notion that the endurance of love overcomes all things and eventually makes you understand why love is love do you see what i'm mm -hmm. saying so when you go through that it's it's normal but the idea is god is saying okay good now that you know every quirk and feature about him this is what makes forgiveness forgiveness because forgiveness is not just saying hmm, i forgive you i forgive you hmm, i forgive you but no forgiveness is knowing exactly what is completely awry about them and choosing to forgive why because you have understood the depth of the love you carry meaning if a guy tells you he loves you that don't mean nothing unless the action of love is produced especially when you don't deserve it when there's that quarrel and then now he's saying this is the proof of my love that means love is professed i love you mm -hmm. it's not even the beginning it's not a, it's it's nothing that means love love is how you say it? love it's not in the profession it is in the action what actionable understanding of it can you demonstrate that